man, I love me some ROG Ally. This Ally X has gone across the world and back with me and serves as one of the most potent examples, not just of what Asus ROG is capable of, but also of how far we've come in the gaming world to get this kind of package. Uh, so small, yet so powerful. But what if you want a little bit more? The portability of something like the ROG Ally X is what makes it fun, but without going full on with a desktop gaming setup or even a robust gaming laptop, you can actually achieve plenty of portability still with a kind of product that is somewhere in the middle and now sport some of the latest and greatest that AMD has to offer in the mobile space. Seriously, the AMD package in here goes really hard and it makes this convertible tablet PC one hell of a time. Hey, it's Joshua Vigar. What's going on, everybody? This right here is the brand new ROG Flow Z13. Shouts out to Asus ROG for sending me the latest Flow Z13 early and for sponsoring this video. Now, I've been able to look at a lot of offerings from Asus lately, and plenty of them have sported some combination of AMD's chips and graphics. The ROG Ally X is the one I've spent the most time with, as I've mentioned, but going bigger can often be better. Enter ROG's Flow lineup, which are powerful PC tablets that are not quite as portable as a handheld PC, but they still manage to be easy to have around. This form factor affords the Flow a lot more room for the luxuries that might make gaming even more fun. A much bigger screen, more robust sound, and of course, the more powerful processing and cooling that needs more room to fit. And with this, the latest Flow Z13, that last part is the main story here, as the long-awaited AMD Strix Halo APU finally makes its debut in this convertible tablet PC. And honestly, what a place to put it in, because the Flow is a great showcase of how the latest Ryzen AI CPU and Radeon integrated GPU can power multiple experiences. When it comes to gaming, however, it definitely feels feels like the promises of this latest AMD setup live up to the hype, because I've never had this much fun with integrated graphics before. We'll talk more in a little bit about how the Strix Halo makes this 13-inch tablet feel more like a battle station than you might at first expect, but for now, let's appreciate the design around this engine. ROG is never shy about showing off its gaming aesthetics, and while there might have been a bit of a dialing back in other parts of the ROG lineup, this flow right here is still undoubtedly the RGB-toting, gamer badge-wearing piece of kit. Since everything powering this experience has to be behind the screen of the tablet, and none of it is in a lower deck like in a traditional laptop, the Flow Z13 will probably strike you as one of the, well, thickest tablets that you may have ever used. The I.O. around the sides includes a micro SD card reader, HDMI out, and PD-capable USB-C ports, even though the ROG charger is probably the way that you want to go. The included 200 watt charger might be a bit of a chonker, but it gets the battery charged up in a real hurry. I got about 50% back in just about half an hour after playing Cyber Punk 2077 got the Flow Z13 down to just 4%. And under the strong feeling kickstand, ROG makes sure you know what's going on underneath the surface. The 70 watt hour battery is a big jump from previous generations, and you do have access to the 1 terabyte M2 SSD for adding storage. Cooling vents adorn the top portion with the Republic of Gamers insignia between them, and a see through slash on the back lights up when the Z13 is powered on and in a laptop configuration. That configuration requires the detachable keyboard that might look very similar to previous offerings, but it actually sports larger keycaps and a larger trackpad area, bringing some improved quality of life. Of course, the display is a touchscreen, which you might end up tapping uh, when you're in tablet mode or when reaching up to the display makes a little bit more sense for what you're doing. And this is ROG's Nebula display at work, and it's pulling multiple duties as a vivid and snappy display made for both work and play. At 13 inches, this is still rather minimal and easy for traveling, but it packs features that both gamers and creators like me, would really appreciate. A 180 hertz refresh rate and three millisecond response time make this screen great for all kinds of gaming, though I am trying my hand at some Marvel Rivals and I am consistently learning that I just can't easily keep up. It's also a pretty bright panel being an IPS screen with 500 nits of brightness, but when it's time to put the controller down, the Pantone validated 100% DCI-P3 display becomes a great canvas for my video editing, making the Flow Z13 make even more sense under the moniker of hybrid. The fact that I can go from writing scripts to procrastinating in games like Marvel Rivals to eventually editing the video that I wrote the script for all in one product always feels pretty great. But none of that would be possible without the right engine to power each of these experiences, and here we come to the AMD Strix Halo. This APU is a combination of the Ryzen AI Max Plus 395 and the Radeon 8060S integrated graphics. Now, it's really great that I get to say the term integrated graphics without it meaning something kind of negative, because AMD have put some real work into this, and the result has been really impressive. Some nitty gritty facts about this processing unit. The Strix Halo utilizes unified memory, which allows the CPU and the integrated 
GPU to share a pool of memory, decreasing both the latency for data access and the overall power consumption. You can always go into the Armory Cray and AMD software apps in order to allocate the memory according to what tasks you want to support more, but right out of the box, I really haven't had many complaints as I jump among tasks and games and back again. AI capabilities are helped out as well by this share pool of memory, as this Copilot Plus convertible tablet comes with all the different AI features that you've probably heard a lot about recently. But you do come to the ROG side of things for gaming, and the AMD Strix Halo utilizes both the Ryzen CPU and the Radeon graphics to great extent, managing to provide an experience that is actually comparable to what a GPU can provide. That's right, AMD is in the business of getting plenty of games up to the high graphics settings, but without the need of a discrete GPU. That means a lot of power can be harnessed even when you're playing games on battery. However, plug this thing in and the performance and turbo power profiles really open things up, allowing me to get to the high and ultra settings in games that I would never expect to work so well on integrated graphics. Cyberpunk 2077 is even working with resolution upscaling and frame generation here, and it's an almost revelatory experience playing with this much fidelity and at higher refresh rates than I've grown accustomed to on the ROG Ally X. I even have to tip my hat to the speakers on here. Asus ROG threw in a couple more speaker units to make a total of four, blasting out the audio with good quality sound that is only really missing in the lower ends for full immersion. Just like with the Ally X, from time to time I don't feel bad just letting the Z13 take care of all of the audio itself without reaching for headphones, unless I need to uh, stop bothering people around me. Now, I mentioned these cooling vents before that are all over the top, but it's just one part of ROG's advanced cooling system that includes a vapor chamber and the Arc Flow Fans 2.0 that were introduced in recent ROG Zephyrus laptop models. Seriously, the gaming chops on here have not failed to impress me, and it's easy enough for me to just treat the Flow Z13 well, like a huge ally. I may not use the tablet mode of Windows too often, like in a productivity sense, when the keyboard is just so easy to pop back on when I need it, and the camera on the back of the tablet might get used even less. But in this configuration, I could just plug in a controller, stand the tablet up, and then fire up a game, and it all feels like a unique all-in-one experience that doesn't really skimp on much at all. But like with most gaming laptops, creators like me find a way to use that graphics power for other endeavors like photo and video editing. The Flow Z13 is no different, even though we're talking about integrated graphics here. This entire video you're watching right now was actually edited on the ROG Flow Z13, which I have brought as one of my main rigs to use at CES 2025, where this tablet and the AMD Strix Halo are being announced. I know, that's pretty meta of me. And again, it's really impressive to know that I'm doing all of this on a gaming PC without needing to even use or opine for the term discrete graphics. I feel like this combination of features and abilities is really suited to the name, Flow. Convertible tablet PCs like this aren't always top of mind when it comes to the kinds of experiences I require from everyday work or battle stations. But sometimes it takes trying a different form factor to realize what is possible, and it would seem AMD invited ROG to do just that with their highly anticipated Strix Halo APU. As an inaugural showcase, the Flow Z13 is a great proving ground for how AMD's latest can work as an almost surprisingly powerful gaming setup, as a hybrid workstation capable of getting some real work done, uh, as an OP tablet when you do want to interact with Windows or everything else in that way, and eventually as an all-in-one entertainment center that can literally stand on its own and provide some real fun. And ultimately, it's just a great flow state that I have been able to achieve using the ROG Flow Z13. A big thanks to ASUS ROG for letting me try out the Flow Z13 and to try out the AMD Strix Halo APU, which is debuting in this here convertible PC tablet. Uh, also, thanks to ASUS for sponsoring this video. Let me know your thoughts on the Flow Z13 and on AMD's latest developments in the comments downstairs, and look forward to more from CES 2025. But from there, though, I'm going to go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much for kicking it with me again today. Please take care of yourselves and each other, and enjoy your tea, everybody.